Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Home Assistant. I know that in these last weeks it's quite a lot, but anyway, uh, it's interesting to have. Now in this video I will show how you can install a talent scale. To do that, the other video will show how to install the wiring guard, where it's required to configure your port forwarding. After this one, we install the zero tier, where it's not necessary to do anything, it's only configure and add the network. Now is the time for the tab scale. Why I want to show the tab scale? Okay, zero tier is a good option, but why not show another option? Maybe you like more, maybe you don't like. It's worth to check, because it's the previous of all this uh, Linux system you can have more than one option, you are not locking only one. So now it's worth for you to see about the telescale and that's you get your pin if you like or if you don't like. If you like, good for you, let's install it. If not, don't install it. But I will show how can you install and that you do this decision if you, it's worth for you or not. If you like this idea and you will try to install it, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and Let's see how to do it. Before we start to do any installation or any configuration with our telescale, let's understand what it's about the telescale. What they say in their website, they say it's a security network that just work. Zero configuration VPN. It means that you don't need to do any kind of configuration. It's just install, run, and it's done. It's really simple. Almost pointless to make this video, but it's worth for you understand how it's work. If we go a little bit down, they show how it's work. What's the difference between a normal VPN style and a telescale style? First of all, if you come with the telescale, they show you that it's uh, how frustrated it's the normal VPN. I was not able to prove that it's really working this way because I cannot measure how much they increase for each knot or each step, but at least uh, the website told and we should believe. If you look here, they say that you, and if you want to connect in a different subnet, you're gonna need to take some time to go through step by step until you arrive in subnet. And when they go for each step, they will increase the latency for it. So it will take much longer to arrive in all these points. Have this one in mind, if we come here in the option for the telescale, they only show you that it's directly connected. They jump the sub-connections, they will connect directly for each device that you want. It means that if you want to connect for the Mac, for Tom's, and uh, have a file system connected at the same time, they will go directly away. They will not need to go from one way to another to another. What is the difference for the telescale and what makes the telescale so fast? Other thing, if you go a little bit down, they show which availability that you can have to use the telescale. You can install the Linux, Mac OS, Windows, Raspberry Pi, Android and Synology. I'm gonna install in the Raspberry Pi because my home assistant is running the Raspberry Pi. If you have a Docker container, I suggest you to install directly in the Linux because then you don't have a sub container running it. It's directing the main operating system, what makes it fast and will work for all the applications. So this case will be only work for you to install if you're really running the home system in the Raspberry Pi. So let's go to installing and start it. Now if we open our home system, the IP address of my home assistant is 192.168.1.252 and if I come here in supervisor, I can try to install it. To install, I go to add and store and I will look for the telescale. If I come here, they show telescale, zero configuration VPN build security network. So let's open it and let's start to install. We're gonna take some minutes until they finish to install. So let's wait and be patient for it. Perfectly once that it has been completed the installation, we're gonna go in documentation. But first of all, let's look for our rating. According from the website, they show that the rating for this telescale is rating 5. If I go back in the zero tier application, let's see what rating that they show, rating 3. It means that the rating for telescale is a little bit better. I cannot tell which one that is better, looking for the rating, because each one have the strong points and negative points. In my case, I prefer to use the wiring guard, so I don't use so much this configuration. I can do my port forwarding, so it's fine. Let's go back here and come back for the application for the telescale. 
in the application for test case, we come in the documentation. Uh, here's all the information that you need to do before do any installation, before look anything. So let's see, they say that uh, the project is free for up to 20 clients, so 20 devices for a single account. If you want more, then we need to pay a cost, but uh, in our case, 20 is fine. This reason that I prefer the wine guard because you can have as many users or accounts that you want, but it's uh, other points, not uh, subject for this video. Let's go back here and say, to install it, you're gonna search for Telescale and add in the supervision and install it. We already did it. Now they say start the add-on, check the logs from the scale to see if everything's okay. Once that everything's okay, you're gonna open the web UI on the telescale and make the login for your account and it's done. Just it, no configuration, no port forwarding, nothing else. So have this one in mind, we have a look if we have anything interesting else. No, for me it's fine. So we can come here in info and put start. Once that has been started, we go here in log and see if everything's okay. They appear done. It means that it has been completed. So we can come here back in the info folder and come here and open web UI. Once that open our web UI, we can click login. Do ask us to make the login. We're gonna sing in. You are sure that you want singing? Yes, I want to do it. And now it's login. So we can close this page and open our telescale. Here in our telescale, I already have my account open and here they already show my user. Here they show my network IP and here my top network IP. It means that if I want to access my home system, I will need to choose this IP for access it. Have this one in mind, let's try to configure the home assistant in our phone. If I open the application for telescale, they already ask you to make the login so we can come here and put singing with email and yes, we want to sing in, they appear authentication. Once that this happened, and if we refresh the page here, they already appear my iPhone 11 that has been connected. Here it's my IP to access this one, and they say that it's connected. But how we can really be sure that it's working? If I copy this IP address, I copy here. If I open the web browser, put the same IP address that they give me, and the two dots, 8123, that's the port that we are using, and put home, we can access it. So yes, it's working and you can access the home system through this application. So in this way, you can open some application for your network anywhere and any place that you want. So you can access your network outside your house in the same way that you're gonna access inside your house. Only the thing that you need to take care is the IP address that you're gonna use. Normally, if you are inside your house, you're gonna put your IP, in my case, 192.168.1.252. And outside your house, you're gonna need to use this IP, 100.68.49.56. It's only something different, but the application already allowed you to know what IP address. So in this video, I show how you can install the telescale. This one, it's exactly for you avoid to be locked only with zero tier or only lock with telescale. These two VPNs work well, and you can decide which one that fit better for your needs and which one that you like more. If you like this video and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.